Hello, this is Spartacus here, and welcome to another video where today I have some Call of Duty 4 gameplay for you guys. It is not Modern Warfare Remastered gameplay, sadly, because I have not had hands-on experience with that game yet so far. But this is the original Call of Duty 4, and you get this is just the background gameplay that you guys are going to be seeing for my commentary, which is the question of the day. So, the question of the day that, like, just popped up in my head. I'm, when I say question of the day, I'm just, like... I'm just saying that really honestly, but anyway, my question is, is will Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered be sold separately from the Legacy Edition of Infinite Warfare? And a lot of people are assuming that is what's going to happen, but there is no official announcement that you can just separately buy Modern Warfare Remastered from Infinite Warfare, because as of right now, the only way to actually purchase Modern Warfare Remastered is by buying the Legacy Edition of Infinite Warfare. If you buy Legacy Edition of Infinite Warfare, then you that's when you get the Call of Duty for Modern Warfare Remastered um, to come with that bundle. And so far, that is the only way to actually get that. Now, a lot of people are assuming that in later in the near future that this is going to be sold separately, like probably after when the game's already released. Um, and so... Honestly, I think that's the case too. I really do think that Modern Warfare Remastered will be sold separately, but what's kind of interesting is that there are a lot of people out there who, of course, do not want to buy Infinite Warfare. I mean, heck, people say that about Black Ops 3, and people said that about Advanced Warfare and all that kind of stuff. I mean, every year people say that about Call of Duty, that they're not going to buy the game, and we all know you're going to eventually buy the game anyway. But... A lot of people, so the people out there who only want to play Modern Warfare Remastered and not Infinite Warfare, so far those people are going to have to buy Infinite Warfare if they want Modern Warfare Remastered, and so I think a lot of those people are assuming that Modern Warfare Remastered will be sold separately, and so they're waiting until that happens, and then they can buy it. But just let you guys know that it's possible, and it's of course it is very possible, that they will not um, do this. This is... It's definitely possible Activision will not like separately um, like have the Modern Warfare Remastered sold separately they it's a possibility that they won't do that and so that's just something that you guys need to keep in mind but if they do which is very definitely they will I'm sure um, once they do sell Modern Warfare Remastered separately it, we don't know how long that will be. It might be two months. It might be all the way until March for all we know. And so if it's all the way till March, that's a really, really long time. And for I don't think a lot of people would want to wait that long. I mean, I know I'm not. I'm just going to pre-order Legacy Edition immediately. And so I'm just going to get both games. And, you know, that's another thing to think of. Like, for, if you're someone who only wants to play Modern Warfare Remastered, you don't really care about Infinite Warfare, you guys gotta remember this, if you buy a Legacy Edition, which I believe costs $80, so the original game of Infinite Warfare is like $60, right, and when a new game comes out, it's like 60 bucks. so, but Le Legacy Edition, it's $20 more, but you're getting a whole new game with that, so, I mean, really, it's actually a pretty good deal, at least for me anyway, because I want to play Infinite Warfare because I know it's a new Call of Duty game a new experience and we're also getting another game Which is basically a game we, we've all already played just better graphics and just some little kinks and other little tiny changes but you see I Think Legacy Edition is a very very good deal That's something that people need to realize because like I said you're getting two games for the price of $80, and they're technically both new games. Infinite Warfare, we all know, is a new Call of Duty game, um, and then there's Call of Duty Remastered, or the Modern Warfare Remastered, which it is a remastered version of an older game made back in, like, 2007, but you see, it definitely looks like a newer game. It's like, it definitely looks a lot better. And so you're getting two games for the price of $80 instead of $120. So in my opinion, getting two games that are brand, that are technically brand new, um, at least for Modern Warfare Remastered anyway, and you're just getting it for $80. I don't know. To me, that's a good deal. Two games for $80. Two, te technically, two new games for $80. I think it's a good deal. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but to me, I find that to be a very good deal. And if you want to be, if you want, if you guys want to wait until Modern Warfare Remastered is sold separately, 
then go ahead, but remember, if it's sold separately, then maybe it won't cost $20, because Legacy Edition is just $20 more added to the regular edition of Infinite Warfare, but you're getting like a whole new game. So when if when if whenever Modern Warfare Remastered becomes sold separately, it might not even be $20. You have to remember that they might make it $40 for all we know. And so it's actually a more of a ripoff if you buy the $40 version that is separately from Infinite Warfare than the $80 version um, that you can just get right now with both the games. So I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but to me, that is something I can definitely see them doing is when they separately release Modern Warfare Remastered from the Infinite Warfare bundle, it might not be $20. It might be $30 or $40. So you might have to pay more um, technically if you want both games anyway. Uh, but I mean, honestly, I don't know. I mean, it's all up to you guys. I mean, of course, for someone who doesn't like Infinite Warfare, then I guess maybe it will be a good deal. But for me, I think both games are going to be great, and so I'm going to pay $80 um, right away and just get both the games because, to me, like, I can definitely see them raising the price uh, more above $20 if they were to release it separately. That's something you guys need to keep in mind, is that they might do that. They might, it might not be $20, but who knows? Who knows? Maybe it will be $20. If it is $20, that's actually a pretty good deal. I mean, you're not really losing or anything there from it, but uh, I'm buying Legacy Edition. I don't know about you guys, because to me it seems like a better deal. So I'm just letting you guys know that they might raise the price for Modern Warfare Remastered if it ever becomes sold separately from the Infinite Warfare bundle, which it probably will be in the near future. But then again, like I said, there's no confirmed date when it's going to be released separately. It, like, there is no official confirmation when if it's going to be sold separately. It just We just do not know yet. So, yep, just keep that in mind, you guys. I am just letting all of you know that. And that is my thoughts on Modern Warfare Remastered when it becomes sold separately. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave a rating for if you guys feel this video deserves. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more Call of Duty content um, each and every couple of days, I guess. I don't really know. But uh, yeah, anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed. And don't forget to leave a comment what you guys think of the Modern Warfare Remastered game and if you think it should be sold separately from the Legacy Edition of Infinite Warfare. So I hope you guys all enjoyed and I shall catch you guys later.